show you the difference between the standard uh, high powered cycles controllers versus the brand new sine wave controllers. Now here we've got the new Thunder SSR. This is a 6,000 watt uh, electric bike, it's capable of doing over 60 miles per hour. Uh, right now we've got the 18 MOSFET uh, HD heavy duty uh, standard controller that we normally have used for a number of years. And we're actually going to demonstrate what this bike uh, sounds like and also its speed and its performance. So we can get this record and then we're going to switch the controller out to the new sine wave and we're going to do some specs and comparisons. So here we are at the cycle analyst looking at 95.9 volts and let's go ahead and crank up the throttle here. So right now we're looking at a top speed of 61, almost 62 miles per hour. the sound of the motor. I'm going to start it again, this time with the camera on the rear tire. Sixty one point seven two miles per hour, ninety four volts. Okay, so there we go. That is the standard eighteen MOSFET uh, HD heavy duty uh, controller that we've used for a number of years. And we've seen the specs on it, and we've got the sound down. So now we're going to switch out to the sine wave. Now we've got the brand new sine wave controller installed on the bike. Now the sine wave is supposed to be quieter. It's going to have more of a smoother throttle response and it'll be a little bit faster uh, on the throttle. So here we are at uh, 95.4 volts and uh, let's slowly just crank this up. Okay, right now we're at 62.2 miles per hour. Notice it's more stable and it's definitely quieter. Let's start it up again. So we're going to go slowly. More throttle response. Way more detailed throttle response. The older controllers would jump after about 20 miles an hour. They jump into a, like a high gear and start to rev. You notice the way this throttle works. I can really hold one position very easily at a miles per hour and just a little bit more pressure. A lot smoother, a lot more quiet. Uh, it doesn't have that jolt uh, somewhere in the mid-range area. So this is definitely an improvement in technology. So now let's go ahead and give it a, a complete, you know, full start. Let's see how it responds. Wow, instantaneous. It jumped from dead stop straight to 62 miles an hour. Let's do it again. Straight into it. Whoop. Let's try it again. Jumped out of my hand there. Let's try it again. Ready? Instantaneous to full speed. Let's watch it on the on the gauge here. The full speed, full throttle. Try that again. Let's keep that camera zoomed on on there. So we get it without that glare. Wow. 
Wow, major improvement in technology. This is definitely a uh, far superior controller than the older style older model. The sine wave definitely is a newer, more modern technology for electric bikes. These will definitely be mainstream. All right, here we are with the Thunder SSR. Uh, we got the brand new sine wave controller on it. We want to do a demonstration. We're actually going to be uh, riding here at night. Uh, but our main street here has got pretty good lighting on it, so you should be able to see this thing ride by. So uh, let's demonstrate. This thing is unbelievably fast. Uh, let's just see how it does.